So today on the channel, we're gonna check out the funniest Amazon reviews you have ever seen. Yes, the funniest, apparently. I've never, never left a review personally, but apparently these ones are damn hilarious. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most quality content in the world. And always, always, use code Tenerik on the phone. I'm, sure. oh. I'm actually genuinely like, are these gonna be hilarious or are they gonna be hilarious? This one doesn't even say what it's necessarily reviewing, but it's just got a photo of an old man and says, great, Oh, I'm just picturing this being my grandparents and them accidentally trying to review a product because they've thoroughly enjoyed it and accidentally taking a photo of their face and being like, great. Whether or not he meant to do this, I genuinely don't know. Oh, so wholesome. Not making me laugh, it's making me go, aw. Try not to aw challenge. Feeling wholesome. It's not funny, it's adorable. All right, so this is one of those reflectors that you put inside your car to stop the sun from like coming in and like making your car hot. Anyways, that was probably the weirdest explanation possible, but I love this product. It keeps my car nice and cool, but I will say the only defect I have found so far is that it's very hard to drive with this on. I've had it- oh, I can't even read this seriously. I've had over five wrecks since I purchased it. After my first fender bender, I decided it was best to roll down the window and stick my head out to see the road, but even that is hard because my eyes and mouth dry out very quickly. Since then, I've purchased some swimming goggles and a snorkel, which has helped out tremendously. What are you talking about? I mean, don't get me wrong. I say this every time I tease dumb people because I am also a dumb person. It's to put in your car when you leave the car. It's not to cover it up to keep the car. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love how when you realize that your eyes get dry and stuff, you buy goggles. That's how you get rid of the dry mouth and the dry eyes, goggles. Not, hmm, maybe I'll just remove the massive thing blocking the windscreen. Customer for life, they say. NYX professional makeup. I have actually used the setting spray before. Can confirm it's actually quite good. Whether or not their review is good, we'll see. Five stars. I was hit by a car. This is true. That seems like such a clickbait YouTube title. I was hit by a car? This oh. is true? Really? Really? I was hit by a car and through the hit itself, the rain, the ambulance ride, and the hours in the hospital, my makeup stayed completely intact the entire time. Now I need to buy some of this shit again. God damn. When I was discharged from hospital, I had to take off my makeup and none of it had moved. If this setting spray can survive being hit by a car, then that's all the proof I need. I'll definitely be buying again. Imagine going through something so traumatic that you're like, you know what? My makeup was damn good. That's the silver lining of getting hit by a car. I'm a right, I'm a good review. Like, what? The title of every video I ever make, this is true. It's all true, I promise, it's all true. Great suit, but the sizing is too small. I ordered a six for my daughter who wears a seven and it was a bit snug, so I'm exchanging for a seven. Would recommend ordering a size up or two. How is that a review? You ordered a size too small and then you're gonna sit there and complain that the size is too small? Do you understand the issue that we're having here? Don't get me wrong, people make mistakes with sizings, but to go out of your way to do a review about the size being too small when you ordered a size too small knowing you ordered a size too small. Like, what do you mean? Good old fashioned bag. Didn't even know you could just buy good old fashioned bag. I'm learning something new every goddamn day, guys. Every time I make a new video, I'm like, this exists? A good old fashioned bag? I know that it's just a Ziploc bag. They just called it a good, good old, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Clear Ziploc bags, 100 piece, by telling it how it is. Finally, a bag without a choking hazard warning. Just lay these out around the park and bam! One week later and the park is all yours. No whining kids, judging parents, dogs barking, just silence. Just silence. Love it. Don't you just love when there's silence? Why would you put that as a review? I don't understand. If you've murdered some kids or there's some kids that have accidentally died from suffocating from a bag that didn't have a choking hazard, why would you write it as a review? You've clearly just murdered a bunch of kids. Quest Protein Multi-Purpose Milk Flat. Why does this look damn delicious? It's got pancakes on the front. It's got donuts. It's got muffins. I want to buy this shit. Multi-purpose mix. Ooh, what flavor's that? <laughs> Will these milkshakes bring all the boys to my yard? I could tell you, but I'd have to charge. <laughs> got him, got him. Stay hydrated, kids. I don't even know what this is and I'm already horrified. Like, are you looking at what I'm looking at? I wear this mask to sing lullabies to my children. They are terrified of the mask. Whenever they protest about their bedtime or ask for too many sweets, I whip on the mask and they soon know who is the king penguin. Each parent has their own way of disciplining their children and I, um, god damn, this is quite smart. I'm not gonna lie to you. Imagine growing up and finding out that your dad's Amazon name was Sir Chubbs. Each parent has their own way of disciplining their children. This is something that I most definitely would do. A king penguin, like I'll get, I'll get the king penguin out. You, you terrified of it? Yeah, go to go to bed or the penguin's coming out. Why is this even a purchase that you can make? A half keyboard. Are these a thing that I didn't know about? I got this full keyboard. What the heck? Yeah, I'm cutting out the, the word hell because I'm a good content creator. 
and the review is that's bad as you know as gibberish man it's just how i talk most of the time do you get it because they're using the letters that are on the half keyboard they gave it a five star though like they'd said that the half keyboard was good man i'm just like in shock i'm like what am i looking at what is going on why half keyboards are they for gaming? Okay. I was like, what the f*** is this? So somebody tried to get a Ouija board. Is it a Ouija, a Ouija board <laughs> game? And literally has one star warning. I tried to summon Satan and my mother showed up. Newsflash, mate. Your mother is Satan. Ding, ding, ding. Congratulations. God damn it. I was trying to summon Satan and bloody my mum showed up. So just be careful. If you're going to buy this game, my mum might show up. A 55 gallon drum of lubricant. My God, who needs that much lube? Jesus, what's going on? As UPS discreetly unloaded my 55 gallon drum, the driver accidentally spilled it into my driveway. Any amount of cars can now fit into the garage. Almost too effective. It's like there's so much lube around. There's like 40 cars that can fit in because you know, they just slip right in. I love how it's like discreetly unloaded my 55 gallon. Why you need that much? Why is there so many customers views on this actual specific type of loop. What do you guys want? Why? Please tell me why. All right, so here we got a review for some noise canceling headphones. We've got five stars. So we know this review about to be good. So not so funny story. Someone in the apartment unit above us got stabbed. Damn, I was like, this could be a good review and then somebody died? According to the cop who interviewed us, the attacker rang the upstairs doorbell and when the guy answered, the attacker forced his way in and stabbed the guy. You want to know what the scary part is? I didn't hear a thing. Thanks to my amazing Hyperx Cloud 2 headphones. I got that. Why would you write that? These things work as advertised. Probably the best noise cancelling headphones I've ever owned. 10 out of 10 would buy again. Is the guy that got stabbed okay? And why are you admitting to not helping? Somebody upstairs is getting stabbed and you're literally just chilling. Imagine writing that. Why? Why? Why write the review? Like, I just don't get it. Not so funny story. Somebody got stabbed. Oh, look how many goddamn knives there are. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Changed my life with three stars. If it changed your goddamn life, why isn't it a five-star review, Christy? Reviewed this knife as a gift for my 18th birthday. Wish I would have known what it was because as soon as I touched it, I grew a mustache and became a Navy SEAL. Mum fainted and my dad laughed and handed me a beer. I was born a girl. Minus two stars because my breasts were really nice. What did I just read? Five stars, works great for a computer mouse. So clearly, look at it. It's got a little mute button. Must be very quiet. The review says, my girlfriend and I were on the verge of breaking up because I would keep her awake at night with my constant mouse clicking. Not anymore. Consider this relationship saved. This mouse is so silent, she will sometimes forget I'm home and invite her lover over. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> No, he's a pretty cool guy. She sometimes forgets I'm there and invites her affair over. So, oh God, oh no, it's not good, man. It's not good. Some, did somebody tell him? Did somebody tell Lucille? Please tell him. Crafting with cat hair. That's a legitimate thing. You craft, uh, like you use, wait, what? Five stars, finally, a use for the cat hair. Why are you using cat hair? With the help of this book, my wife has made all of the Christmas gifts for our friends and family. Four pairs of socks, two scarves, three hats, a toasty coat. Oh my God. Oh no. Another five stars worked like a charm. I purchased this book as I was tired of people sitting too near me on public transport. Oh, that is two completely different ways. And I like the second one better. The first one, all of our gifts now are made out of cat hair. That's not okay. I don't want to be friends with that person. I don't want to be friends with them. Damn, what a purchase. A whole gallon of milk. For all you strong, independent women out there, Bic has finally made a pen just for you. Bic, for her. Oh my God, these pens are for females. My God. Someone has answered my gentle prayers and finally designed a pen that I can use all month long. I use it when I'm swimming, riding a horse. Oh my God, how often does she use it? Since I've been using these pens, men have found me more attractive and approachable. It's given me soft skin and manageable hair, and it's really given me the self-esteem I needed to start a book club and flirt with the bad boy at my local market. This is such a piss take and I already love it. Five stars, finally. It's like all the other pens weren't for her. They were for him, but thank God, Bic has finally come through with some pens for her. Great fit, but I have a question. I see this comes in a sleek design, but as a full-figured woman, do these pens come in curvy and carefree? As if you would make pens for a specific gender. 2018, even though this was seven years ago. Goddamn, seven? Yeah, math, quick. Three stars. I'd really like to buy a pack of these pens, but I probably need my father's or husband's permission first, like I do with all my financial decisions. Oh, bit getting ripped into. Goddamn, I love it though. Well, that's it for today's uh, Amazon reviews. I actually thoroughly enjoyed and I feel like all of them. So I'm, I'm coming back for a part two with that. You can almost guarantee it. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, yeet.